to LVTV Newscast. Today we have some stories focusing on our weather and how it affects our environment. Well, I'm excited about learning about these topics. Our first story is about the dreaded El Nino. Hey, Ivan Perez here, and I'm about to talk to you about El Nino. So first off, El Nino is a big rain that happens after a big drought. So California has been in a drought for about three years. Scientists are saying that El Nino will happen around these times, specifically November 12th. Oh, I'm joking. I'm going to be interviewing Marita. Um, okay, Marita, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Yes. Okay, I'm going to be asking a few questions about um, the El Nino. Do you know what that is? No. Okay, it's basically when we don't have a drought for a year. Okay, that's what I'm going to ask you. Okay, Marita, what do you think is the best way to prevent the El Nino? Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay, Marita, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Yes. Okay, I'm going to be asking a few questions about the El Nino. Do you know what that is? No. Okay, it's basically when we have a drought for a very long time, and then, I don't know, we're from the south, rain comes, then it's a lot of rain and lasts about like three weeks. Okay, so now since you know what it is, what do you think about it? That is going to help us because we have a drought. Okay. So, um, what do you think it's going to like happen? Uh, during the winter, because it rains a lot in the winter. Okay, thank you, Marta, for your time. Yeah. I'm Dirk, and I'm going to be interviewing Trevor. Okay, Trevor, is okay to ask me a few questions? Yeah. Okay, Trevor, do you know what the El Nino is? Yeah. Okay, what do you think about it? Uh, I think that since we're in a drought, we're going to get it in the winter towards November, and it's going to help us. Okay. So, since you say it's going to happen in November, you're actually right about that. The scientists said that it's going to happen um, around November. So, when that's going to occur, like, are, you, are you prepared for that? Um, I guess. Like, we haven't had rain in a while, so yeah, I'm kind of prepared. Okay. Thank you for your time, Trevor. that we were going to have so much rain this winter. Well, we will need it. This drought has caused us to have a dry ecosystem. We need the rain in order to reduce forest fires. On that note, our next news report will be about fires that have affected our local communities and how to stay safe during these fires. In Southern California, Forest fires occur very often. These fires have covered over hundreds of acres of land, injured many people, and left others homeless. So, can one be safe during these fires, and how does the weather affect these fires? Over time, there has been forest fires that have grown and could not be controlled. Others were stopped right on time. No matter how small or big fire is, there are always ways to stay safe. If caught in a wildfire, don't try to run out of the place. Try looking for a body of water, like pond or lake to, to crouch in. If there is no water close by, blend the air with little vegetation. Light low and cover the cover with wet clothing or soil until the fire passes. Also, protect your lungs by breathing the air closest to the ground to avoid inhaling smoke. Wildfires are wildfires are started two different ways: naturally caused and human caused. Natural natural fires are sometimes caused by lightning or extreme heat. Human caused fires start by things like smoking and running fires. The weather is a huge factor of the size and speed of the fire. The three main weather ingredients that can affect forest fires the most are temperature, wind, and moisture. Hey, I'm back. Sorry I was out. My mitty was so fire, it burned my shirt off, so I had to change shirts. Okay, now Alyssa is here to talk about the latest fires. Here are the latest forest fires. We come back here by Fresno, one by San Jose, and one by Redding, California. Well, now I know what to do if I'm caught in a wildfire. Very good advice. What do you think, Elias? 
I don't go camping a lot, but at least I know what to do when I'm caught in a wildfire. Well, that is the end of our newscast for today. Please join us in our next episode. Till next time. And, and remember, remember Spartans, Spartans explore, explore, learn, and you will achieve. achieve. Bye.